So this is the second part of that question, but actually you don't need the diagram on the page before. It doesn't add anything in here. It doesn't give us any variable names that are relevant. Um, and it was more relevant, I thought, to split it here, make a couple of short videos going through the code questions. So when a train is delayed, passengers are entitled to a 25% refund on the cost of their ticket. Using a design technique of your choice, show how the refund will be calculated. Now, only two marks, although it's quite a big space, it I think it sort of implies that you're doing multiple lines of code here, but you're not. Um, and also, it says a design technique. The most logical way to answer this would be through the code. Um, you're not really going to be able to answer this as a sensible structural diagram or flowchart, um, at least in my opinion. So, if I want to calculate 25% of the ticket cost, um, let's say we've got the ticket cost... And if I want 25% of it, the easiest way is to multiply it by 0 0.25. I could also have divided it by 4. That's one of the things I need to do here, the calculation. Um, I need to store the refund, so if I said something like set refund 2. So now I've got a line of pseudocode that says set the refund to ticket cost times 0 0.25. Um, and that's it, because all you had to do was the, the 0 0.25 calculation and using sensible variable names in here. And remember, it's not asking you to write it as Python code. Then I'm going to go over to question 6. So, this is a, maybe a little bit longer code to read, although it's only a few lines, there's quite a few things going on here. So it's being tested to ensure it produces the correct output. We're inputting a score from the keyboard and then we're checking if the score is 5 or 10 or 15 and only if it is does it then check the second if statement if not greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 12 then send success to display so first of all people look at this and they don't really know where to start what we'll do is break it down the program is only going to run, if we're looking for what we would get to say success, it's only going to get there if the answer is 5 or 10 or 15. So straight away we've only got these possible values. Right? They're the only ones that could get us there. Then we can look at the more complicated line. So I'm going to ignore that not, and we'll just say score that's greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 12. So it's scores that are between 3 and 12. 5 and 10 are between 3 and 12. 15 is not. If it's not one of these, so it's not 5 and 10, because they are between those, so it's not 5 and 10, so it must be 15. And that's how you'd work it out. State one logical operator that's used in the code above. I'm just going to switch pen colour. So... We've got logical operators in here, I've got an OR, I've got another OR, I've got a NOT, and I've got AND. Any of these would do as an answer. You've got to be careful because not every question is going to have every logical operator in it, but in here, I could say OR. Now what I'm going to do is take some of the extended response, so for question 8, 9 and 10, and take them on their own. <laughs> 